hey my loves so welcome back to my channel if you're new and this is your first time coming here my name is C so today I wanted to do a bronzy makeup look so of course I already had my brows done and I already did one eye just to kind of not waste so much time so this is the look and so I created this look with the James Charles palette. I even was able to do a baby wing and wings <laughs> are not my forte. I can't do a wing to save my life, but I managed to get this done over here. So we're going to definitely see if we can match this side. So let's get into this video. So here I'm going in with the MAC Paint Pop. This is in the shade Soft Ochre. So the first shade I'm going in with is called Punch Me. I'm using this as my transition color. Now I'm going in with the shade 10% off. I'm using that in my crease. So now I'm going in back in with that first shade. I'm not adding any more product, but I'm just using that same brush to blend out. You want to make sure everything is blended. And you'll see me do this and go back and forth a few times with the different shades. So to add some depth and to also darken up my crease, I'm going in with the shade No Beans. So using the same MAC Paint Pop, I am taking that to cut my crease. And remember, you have to take your time. I'm trying to get it as precise as my left eye. If you don't, if you haven't noticed, if you can see my right eye is a little more hooded than my left. So sometimes my um, cut creases don't be the same, but I try to get them as close as possible. Here you can see my crease and you see how I go up a little bit further. That's only because you want your shadows to be able to really show. So going in with those two brown shades, 10% off and no beans, I'm blending out the edge of the cut crease
so now I'm putting shade so good all over my lid and then you will also see me take wig as well and add that to my lid So to do my wing liner, I have this Kat Von D tattoo liner. Um, this came in an Ipsy. So. Here I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm going to apply this all over my T-zone where I get oily at. While in my foundation set, I'm going in with the NYX Brow Gel. I'm going in with two concealers. The first one I'm going to be applying is from Tarte in the shade Medium Tan Golden. And then I'll be going in with the Morphe, which is C3.55. This sponge right here, I have so grown to love. This is from e.l.f. This is the Camo Concealer Sponge. And I just love it because it blends everything so evenly. You can get it in the corners. Uh, if you don't have it, you definitely need to add this to your collection. Another drink break, y'all. But this is the Black Opal Foundation Stick. I'm using this as contour. This is in the shade Hazelnut.
to go in back in with the sponge just to make sure everything is blended out. There's no creases to fix anything I may have messed up when I contoured. a trick I learned by patting the setting powder on your hand just to make sure that it's evenly spread on the blender and just blend it out I'm pushing the product in also this is the powder from Morphe this is in the shade banana rich So since I don't bake, I go right in with my foundation brush and I'm just pretty much pushing the powder in and blending it. This is also a way to help not have flashback. So now to bronze, I'm going in with Coco Cutie. This is from BH Cosmetics. Now this is the Manani Baked Powder Blush. This is in the shade Luminoso. As you can see, I put a little bit too much on, so to fix that correction, I just went ahead and took my foundation brush. To add some color to my under eye, I'm going in with 10% All. These are my absolute favorite lashes from Shop Miss A. These are in the style Brianna. This is the Holy Grail, y'all. Maybelline Master Chrome. This is in the shade Molten Gold. That is my absolute favorite. But first, I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. To line my lips, I'm going in with the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. Then I will be applying the Morphe Lipstick in the shade Bear All. And I'm going to top it off with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Gloss in the shade Strawberry Daiquiri.
this is the finished look. I had to throw a wig on. <laughs> but this wig looks so beautiful with this look. Again, I was going for a nice bronzy look and I believe that I achieved this look. Again, I used the James Charles palette. Um, these lashes are from AOA Studio, Shop Miss A. Um, I got this wig from Elevate Styles. This is in the Style Chill. This is the stock card if you guys are interested in getting this hair. Again, guys, thank you for tuning in to my video. Again, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you lovely people in my next video.